Governments over the years have tried to boost the country's industrial sector by first improving technical and vocational education and training and STEM in the country. But according to players in the educational sector, there's more to be done. Dr. Edwin Okuampa is the Dean of the Faculty of Health and Allied Sciences at the Koforidia Technical University and he's been explaining some of the challenges confronting his faculty. Uh, for the faculty, uh, most challenge that we face is equipment based. Uh, we have the people, we have the students, we have the technical know-how. But as time goes on, some of these machines that we use uh, are outdated. As a result, we need more modern machines that we can train our students with so that when they go out to modern facilities, they can perform and perform well. So that aspect is a major problem. The second one is staffing. We need staff to augment the existing staff that we have. As part of activities by the university to promote technical and vocational education and training for national development, the Faculty of Built and Natural Environment and the Faculty of Health and Allied Sciences separately launched their respective faculty hall weeks, engaging seasoned resource persons with technical know-how to interact and spare students on in their chosen fields. Dr. Prince Boatin, the Dean of the Faculty of Built and Natural Environment, believes TITVET is the foundation for national development. Technical and vocational education training it should be one of the foundations of national development. And then the, if you have people or the citizens that are having hands-on training, and they can come out with innovations, they can create more jobs, they will be able to develop their country more than we importing more things into the country and then just doing, excuse me to say, just buying and selling things. <clears throat> See? So here you are, you have a graduates who have come out and then they're able to establish some businesses. They will pay taxes. They will employ people. They are self-sufficient. They are not depending on government um, uh, jobs. See? So that is also going to underpin the country's development. This is a view supported by the principal of Atebubu College of Education, Dr. Samuel Adebwatin, who was a guest speaker at the faculty week launch. Actually, if we want to go up, I think that technical education, STEM education actually, is the way to go. Because that's what will help us to get to the industrialization level that we want. So if you want to know the kind of education that we need, I think that more emphasis should be placed on science, technology, engineering and mathematics education. Amid all these challenges, management and lecturers remain resolute to ensure they give off their best in training students to be innovative and equipped to come up with homegrown solutions to address global challenges like the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Vaida Opukwe Dusei is the head of the Department of Biomedical Engineering. Yes, um, you all know about uh, this even current pandemic that has gone on and it's been um, a problem that we have all experienced and it's biomedical engineers with uh, innovative ideas that can come up with solutions to these uh, problems and we are here trying to um, um, train the students to be innovative so that they can come up with um, solutions to some of the problems that we have. We don't need to be looking elsewhere because we know our problems and we should be able to um, have an idea how to uh, deal with it. For the Student Representative Council, an aggressive support from government will help technical university students who have already been equipped with the needed skills to build machines for industries to cut out on excessive importation. Jesse Ofosua Sante is the SRC president of the Koforidia Technical University. Yes, so if you consider the economy now and then um, how you know, it dwindles, it shows obviously that our importation is, is way higher than our exportation. Considering technological um, imports, for instance, the technical universities can, can serve as a substitute if resources are given to us. We can, we can go a long way to develop um, 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 machineries that that we don't have to import to to cause let me say um, um, negative 
or to have negative impact on our economy. So we believe that should government give us the necessary attention for us to develop this locally, it will be the best substitute in order to cut out um, um, excessive import into the country. The Vice Chancellor of the Koforidia Technical University, Professor David Kofia Suman, believes lack of commitment of TVET is one of the reasons Ghana has gone back to the International Monetary Fund for support. Notice that as a country and as a nation, we have all the resources. We have all what it takes us to move on to develop. But yet, we are not getting to that level. And I believe the lack of technical education is playing a major role in that. Today we are going back to IMF. Not long a time when the president declared Ghana without aid. We are going back to IMF because we have not done things rightly. And so I believe that the focus of Ghana Beyond Aid should still work by bringing on board this technical education, the TVET education, to develop our resources and to make sure that we add value to whatever we produce in this country. So that we don't sell it in its raw state that attract very less, uh, less amount of money. So with proper technical education, Ghana will be able to add a lot of value to whatever we are producing in this country to prepare this nation really beyond it.